Hi guys, welcome to your um, your uh, love reading for Aquarius. This is going to be for your August, not August, for your September 2024. You can apply this to your Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus signs. We are going to take a look and see what's going on with you guys in love and the person that you are connecting with. And then we'll take a look at your person to see what their true feelings and intentions are towards you. And then we'll finish off the read to see what else you guys need to know, look out for, work on, apply this to your own unique situations, okay? Um, keep in mind that these are general messages. Take what resonates and leave the rest behind. You may switch the roles if you want. Keep in mind that these are general messages. Take what resonates and leave the... I already said that. Keep in mind that these are collective messages for the collective Aquarius people, not tapping into one specific person's energies in particular. If you're looking for a reading that's tailored specifically to your unique situations and your energies, I suggest you to book a personal reading with me. The link for that is in the description box below. Like, share, comment, subscribe. Hit the notification bell so that you guys get notified on when my new videos post when I go live. Also, if you guys are interested in following me on TikTok, Instagram, my other YouTube channel that's dedicated solely to my travels, the links for those are in the description box below. Support me on there too. So, tell me about Aquarius. What messages do we have here for Aquarius and love and the person that they are connecting with for September 2024 for Aquarius? Ten of Wands here in the King of Cups, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. I do feel like there's a situation that you're in where I feel like you're feeling very burdened. And Aquarius, I feel like you're feeling very stuck. You know, one of the things I'm getting here is I feel like you are emotionally investing into this connection, into your person here, but I feel like you're being met with resistance. Somebody who keeps pushing you away. And I feel like for you, Aquarius, I feel like this is the final straw here for you. You know, I feel like you just want to end this connection here, end this and move on towards a new beginning of your own here. Some of you guys could be physically moving away, getting away from this person and moving into a new home. Okay, so I feel like you're feeling there was a situation where you're feeling very overwhelmed, very stuck. Something here is pushing you away. And I feel like you're just, you just, you, you basically just had it. Yeah, you've had it. Tell me about the Ten of Wands here. Why is the Ten of Wands here? And the Four of Wands. Tell me about the King of Cups. Could be dealing with the Twin Flame here. Like, I feel like some here is seeing the potential for victory, success stability, happiness here. But there's someone here that's basically pushing this away. Someone here is feeling very stuck here, okay? And they feel like someone here just wants to get out. Tell me about the Eight of Swords here. The Eight of Swords, I feel like what's, what's happening is I feel like you're just feeling like you're suffering. You're feeling like you're suffocating or that you're su yeah, yeah. And I feel like you're feeling paralyzed in this situation here. And one of the things I'm getting here, you know, I feel like the universe is definitely trying to wake you up trying to snap you out of this, trying to get you to take action here. You know, one of the things I'm getting here is I feel like if you are leaving someone here, I do feel like you guys, you, you'll just send this person a text. Yeah, you're not gonna have a face-to-face -face conversation. I just feel like you're just gonna move on from the situation here and towards a new beginning. Yeah, I feel like you're about to end the connection here. I feel like you're not having a, a, a fun time. I feel like you're not enjoying this person's company anymore. Tell me about the person that Aquarius is dealing with. What is this person's true feelings and intentions towards Aquarius? What is this person's true feelings and intentions towards Aquarius? For September 2024, <coughs> Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus signs for Aquarius. And we have the King of Cups. Not the King of Cups, the Knight of Cups, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. We have the Two of Swords here. You're dealing with someone here who's really indecisive. Yeah, you're dealing with someone here who's really indecisive here. You're dealing with someone here who's also very immature. You know, whoever this is, this person just keeps dropping the ball on you. Yeah, this person just keeps dropping the ball on you here. We have the Nine of Swords and the Queen of Swords. So one of the things I'm getting here is I feel like this person is dealing with some sort of stress and anxiety at this time here. I do feel like this person can be a bit, like a bit emotionally closed off, you know? But I feel like this person does show emotions here towards you, but I feel like this person shows it and then this person kind of like pulls back. 
or sort of takes it away. What else do we have here for Aquarius? Some of the Knight of Cups. Why is the Knight of Cups here? And the Seven of Swords. Some of the Two of Swords here. And the Queen of Pentacles. Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo. Someone here is just not really being honest with their feelings. I do feel like this person does care about you. Perhaps this person is in love with you, but this person's not really saying it to you. Tell me the Page of Cups. Why is the Page of Cups here? The Page of Cups and the Page of Pentacles. This person makes a lot of promises here, but this person never keeps it. Ace of Wands here and the Two of Wands. Uh, you know, this person kind of like is very confusing here. It's kind of like, okay, they're really passionate about you, but the, 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 then this person's lying or that this person is lying about having other options here. We have the Nine of Swords and the King of Pentacles. We have the King to Queen of Pentacles here. I just feel like you're stressed out over the situation. I feel like this person has consistently shown you the same thing over and over and over and over again. And I feel like you just want to get off the merry-go-round here. Yeah, I just feel like uh, Aquarius, you just want to get off the merry-go-round. I feel like this person is driving you bananas here. What else do we have for, for Aquarius? What else does Aquarius need to know, look out for, work on? For August, what, not August, September, September 2024. Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus signs for Aquarius. With the Queen of Cups and the High Priestess, Cancer, Pisces. Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. Strong water energy here. Ace of Swords here and the Empress. Okay. Empress Libra, Taurus. And the Magician here and the Six of Pentacles. Okay. The Magician, Jamai, Virgo, Six of Pentacles here. I mean, moving forward here. I mean... I do feel like this person will send you some sort of communication if you have ended things with this individual here. We have the Empress and the Empress here. But I feel like when it comes to this situation, I just feel like you're just going to remain silent here, not really say anything to this person. Ace of Swords here. Yeah, I just feel like you're going cold on this person. One of the things I'm getting here is I feel like with the Judgment card and the Ace of Swords, yeah, I just feel like you're just ending this situation. I feel like you're making a change here. You're deciding that you don't want this, and I feel like you're not going back on your decision here. You know, one of the things I'm getting here also with the Empress here and the Devil, this person's very codependent. Yeah, it, it, you know, it, it doesn't really show from their actions, but I feel like this person really needs you here. This person feels lonely without you. And I do feel like this person will try and manifest this back with you. But I feel like there's a sense of really moving forward and moving away from this and just kind of like enjoying your single life. Yeah, we have the death card here. So like I said, I feel like you're putting an end to this here, uh, uh, Aquarius. Yeah, I just feel like you just can't deal with, you know, the lack of transparency, that lack of honesty, you know, hiding here, you know, the games here, you know, uh, you're, 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 you're sick of this person, you know, being emotionally unavailable or holding back and not giving anything to this connection here. I just feel like you're just feeling very burnt out, you know, I just feel like it's sort of like wearing you at this point here, you know, I feel like, you know, when you go... Just keep in mind, it's like going on a roller coaster ride, you know, at a theme park. When you go on these rides, yes, it's very exhilarating. It's very fun. But at the same time, you know, after you get off them, you're just worn out. So, you know, it kind of reminds me of the situation that you're in. It reminds me that you're like on, you know, like a roller coaster ride here. So Aquarius, I hope that this was helpful. I hope that this resonated. If it did, leave a comment down in the comment section below. Like this video, share this video, subscribe. Hit the notification bell. I'll speak to you guys in the next one. Thanks, guys. Bye.